What we do when we're calculating a tune, we've obviously already got the, the rider's information. We then first will need um, information from the bike itself. So we've got leverage um, software that will give us a leverage curve and we can pull that data out, which then goes into our, uh, our calculator. We've got uh, dyno data from every major uh, fork and shock that we, uh, we work with um, on our database. Um, so we can pull that data straight from there. Um, we've got that, it's data for each um, adjustment combination um, that that shock or fork will provide. So we can, we can pull up uh, data from what we think is, is going to suit. Goes into our calculator, um, which then, as you can see, runs through quite a bit of data which transforms all those forces to uh, actual forces at the wheel on the bike. So then we're looking to balance those forces um, with the use of um, some graph imagery. We can kind of uh, get towards that, that, that benchmark that we're after um, and balance front and rear forces. Um, so it's, uh, it's giving you um, some balance without actually doing the testing with you. We fully strip them down, uh, check everything over, and rebuild them, um, and we also at the same time custom tune them. So everything is tuned for the rider. The type of riding that you're doing, um, and you kind of your ability level as well. So we, yeah. we take into, into account lots of information. Yeah, so we take uh, rider weight, an idea of your ability level, um, any kind of specifics, like if you've already got some. Yeah. You know, you know how you like your setup. We'll take that into consideration as well. Um, obviously, what bike you've got, um, and then from all that information, we've got uh, loads of data from uh, doing testing with various riders over the years, yeah. um, and using uh, actual data as well. So we uh, use some data acquisition equipment, so we can get real-world data when people are actually riding it. Um, we transfer that to um, data that we've got from the dyno as well, so everything's calculated um, to give you the as close as we can possibly get without actually yeah. being out with you with some data. If somebody ordered a new product, and then we, it sort of, it goes into our workload, so it depends how busy we are at the yeah. time. We try to aim between sort of three and five working days, yeah. um, so we can get it turned around in, in a week, hopefully. Um, with, um, if, if, if you send it in for service and tune or whatever, um, you can do that via our booking system, yeah. which is an appointment-based system. So um, even if we were fully booked, for that week, yeah, um, you can book in for a slot the next week, um, and it's done on the slot that you book. Okay. So we we don't need we only need your fork and shop or whatever for that specific yeah. time frame. So so you don't have to be without. You know, it's not like sending it off and then not having a bike to use for the next two or three weeks or whatever. Shims are sized in terms of thickness. They are size in increments of 0 0.05 of a millimetre um, and they need to be accurate within 0 0.01 of a millimetre um, plus or minus. Um, 0 0.05 of a millimetre in thickness can make quite a big difference. Um, it depends on the application, depends how much oil is actually going through the piston, um, but it, it is a, a noticeable difference. 